Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only. Welcome to Dawn of the Dragons. So this is the open beta. This is also early access on Google Play. You guys can try it out for free. And we're going to see how it is. Apparently they said it's like a straight up turn-based RPG. Oh, okay. That's weird. So that gives us a wall. What does this do? Okay, so I guess that hits all. <laughs> so that's kind of how the gameplay is. Oh, you can make your own character. What? Dude, fucking dope. Oh, so they don't have, like, black hair? Okay, well then. That's weird. But alright. <laughs> that face. Nope, I'm, I'm just gonna stick with this one. Nah, that's fine by me. Unfortunately, they don't save your, um, stuff you had. Let me look up the other hairs. So there are only like 10 hairs? No, 9 hairs. Okay. Character customization. Haven't seen that in a while. Oh, well, fuck me then. I don't know, dragons are ambushing people now. What's it to you? I'm gonna be a douche. Hey, we got a mission. So we gotta load out information. So I guess these are the characters we're taking in. All right, so we got gears that actually look like they change. All right, let's go. The whole like map and stage system kind of reminds me of, um, what was it? Kind of reminds me of Blood Brothers, in a way. Okay, so your attacks are basically dropped on you at random interesting so let's see if I can explain this right for you guys so basically you have like little skills down here as you can see she can attack twice but those are actually just her skills that pop up so as you can see a new skill just popped up for him so yeah we pretty much go back and forth with our skills There we go. So yeah, pretty straightforward. I like it. It actually looks pretty damn interesting so far. I haven't played a game like this. Okay, so let's do that. And I push you over. Okay. Let 
And we do that, and we can snap you. I don't even know where the, our HP is. So our main character is just there to push enemies around. What now? Okay, is this up to me? Gee, it thinks. So we got coins. So nothing in our mailbox. So we got allies, home. Let's see our allies. Allies that we have. This is the allies page. Here you can view people who have joined your adventure. I also recruit them in the world. Collect their badges and unlock them. Okay, so it's basically like shark collecting. Oh wow, they have quite a few characters. Not a, not a whole bunch though, but quite a few. Hopefully they're still adding in characters, you know. But this is like the, um, the alpha, open alpha. And so far, I, I like where it's going, to be honest. Can I look at your skills and see what you have? Okay. Those damage. Just deals damage. Just deals damage. Just deals magic damage. So, that symbol right there. The little thing that looks like it's an explosion symbol. It's magic. This is physical. Okay, noted. What about you? Stop somebody's timer for one turn. So that's basically a stun. Increase party's toughness by 50%. Increases party spirit by 50% and taunts. Physical damage. Does physical, physical damage. Party takes less physical damage for one turn. Okay. Oh, you got a mission. Okay, let's go to the shop guy. So he has potions, he has gold, stuff like that. He also has bundles, a starter bundle. That was in that. A free character and something flexible. I'm guessing that's a formation. Whoops. Ah, I bought it. Seems like we have uh, status points too. How do we look at that? Draw a character. Here we go. Strip you off points. Okay, so well, what is Will? Okay, so magic damage. Spirit is magical defense. Strength. Physical defense. HP and luck is. Okay, so it's basically versus other people's luck. Tribute my points, I'm gonna put it into... I wanted to put it into HP, what the hell? But I guess you can't put it into HP. Okay. So we got missions with everybody, basically. Alright, let's go. Let's 
looks like we got quite a few routes here. Let's go this way. Seems like we'll probably get more out of it. stunned and we're gonna sap you we change our um, gears okay that, that's not what I'm after I wish they would pop up um, my little exclamation points telling you that you have new gears in like a certain spot that would be a lot better Okay, let's keep going. Get rid of him, so we don't do anything wrong. And you. Dude, I love games like this, to be honest. Go ahead and taunt. Rid of you because you're throwing everything off balance. You too. And we'll do this. Alright, let's put this up here so we can actually see how long we've been going. Okay. Get us done. Yeah, I thought she was still stunned, man. What the hell? So I wonder how many allies you can have for like team. Hear him. Oh no, he didn't die. Okay, so we had experience potion. So we got pants, shoes, and shoulder plates. I like that it actually designs, uh, well, change the design. Because most games don't do all that. Most games are just like, hey, bro, you're just going to stick with what you get. Even though these pants are going to look weird. Ranger pants. Along with beef shoes. <laughs>
And finish your quest. Alright, so there are guilds too that you can join. There's groups, I guess you can summon with friends. Interesting. I don't even have, have that much CP. Power level 99. Must be that OP, huh? <laughs> okay, what mission do you got? She was actually talking about an actual bridge, but all right. Oh no, not spooters. My only weakness. can't switch it out we have to use it noted I thought you could at least get like one recycle per like round or something definitely not the case oh wow you look weird It's also RNG based too, depending on what you get. Oh no, not mushroom people. I'm not sure if I'm a huge fan of them not showing if they're taunted or not. I mean, they show they're stunned, but not that they're taunted. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna just use this. But yeah, I would love to know if they had like a effect for like, oh, okay, dragon. The wings are gonna go fully through, or you just think the game just died? Oh yeah, it just died. It feels bad, mate. In the middle of a dungeon too. So I wonder if it saves your place from where you last were if the game does crash like that. Because obviously you're gonna have to have some fail safes there in like open alphas like that. You know, obviously you're gonna have some crashes here and there. Oh wow. So we automatically lost that, I think. Oh no, we're, we're good. It took us back to where we were. Thought I read that wrong. Definitely did. Oh wow, they got some serious damage here, right, my guy.
I should just change my strat at the, at the last moment. Alright, nice. We got a new uh, main weapon. Not with a necklace. Whoops. Now we're more like a rogue. Okay, so we just lose uh, strength and will. We gain spirit and toughness and HP. That's kind of like a more defensive set. Hmm. I guess it'd be fine. It doesn't really seem like oops. I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, it doesn't really seem like you get a whole bunch of gold right now. A dragoon? We're gonna make this our last one. anything better. There we go. Snap him. We don't have any much indications that you have received buffs too. But then again, like I said, this is alpha, so they're probably not going to have like every single thing they want in yet. can get that defense up. There we go. So I don't think characters level up through these. I think they level up through the potions you get through here. If I'm correct. Because I don't feel like they've leveled. We had a healer, that would be nice too. Alright, now we're gonna fight the dragon. Stun him. Nothing that I want. Okay, so he has large defense. So mostly magic's gonna do damage. 
or somewhat. Ah, there we go. Am I, all right, my guy, your stuff is done. Okay, so let's go to these allies. So I was right. They only level up through potions. Because I've seen quite a few games do this before. Also carry gear or anything. Do I have any available gear to equip? Okay, so yeah, I was right. They do take gear. So I can take the gear that I'm not using and give it to them. I'll say the pants, right? Yeah. So, yeah. And then there's coins to where you can rank them up and rank up skills as well. And also training. Which you need these skills for. So it gives them bonus stats. Okay, this game's very... Very in depth, I like it. Okay, I'm pretty sure I do have a sword for you. I did give him one too, right? Since I won't be using it. Now he has one. But pretty, pretty dope, to be honest. I'm definitely gonna keep uh, an eye on this one. This one was very unique from most games I've played. It still reminds me of, um, Slate Aspire a little bit, but with a party and actual like leveling your characters with stats and stuff. You know, it kind of gives me that little bit of a vibe, but and that's plenty of games that kind of give you that vibe. But pretty cool. With that said, guys, I'm gonna leave you all with that. If you guys want to try out the game, try it out yourself. And to them, peace out.